Okay, who's on the call? This is Chuck from Messaging. Yeah, it's Barry from AD. This is Johnson from Networking. Enough with the introductions. What's the status? I don't think it's the network. It's not the firewall. Uh, it's not the application. You guys done throwing each other under the bus? I'm not throwing anyone anywhere. It's not the application. Chuck, do you know who I am? Uh... I'm Jordan McKenzie, a fucking department head. You're a contractor, right? Uh, yes. You know, I can have your ass escorted out of this building in a minute. <clears throat> who the fuck was that? Jordan, do you know who this is? No! Then fuck you. Randy Wolf. Has left the call. Who the fuck is Randy Wolf? Hi, Kevin. How's it going? No, sir. I actually have today off. No, sir. I don't know. I don't know who would have done that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Is isn't 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 Richard there right now? Can't can't. He's not. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um. Okay, sir. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Well, just till noon, and then Richard's gonna be there. Okay, just till noon. All right. Well. Yes, sir. It's gonna take me a second to get ready, but. Hello?
Now you're gonna get slammed, right? Yep. It's the MDM, right? Yeah. People are gonna freak. Thanks, Jackie. I got it. You're the techie, right? Dude, my shit's gone. And what shit would that be? Everything. Yeah, okay. We're working on it. You're working on it? I have some important pics on here. Uh, how important can a picture be? Don't answer that. What's going on? Look, someone jacked up MDM last night. What's MDM? Mobile Device Management. All right, look. Are you the one who manages the phones? No, not really. Not even supposed to be here today. Well, all my shit is gone. <laughs> Wrap it up, fuzzball. <laughs> hey, Dan. What? My phone. Yes. It's acting weird. Yeah. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Out! 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 Now, unlike the rest of you leeches, I actually have an appointment scheduled with my resource, Dan. Do any of you have a, uh... Open ticket? No. Have any of you contacted the help desk to obtain said ticket? No. Then please excuse us. You owe me. <laughs> yeah. Why do I think that it came at a price? Will you fix my phone? See, I knew it. This is huge. So, uh, why were you late today? Uh, I wasn't late. I had the day off and they called me back in. The day off for what? Just... No. I don't know. It's, look, it's really none of your business. I'm not an idiot. I know Madden was midnight pickup last night. There's more to life than video games, Dan. Yeah, okay. Is there? Is there really? Okay, so I was going through the project deployment plan. Okay, now and you know, here we go. I told you. I know, you. I, I know. You. I know you said no weeknights, I'd okay? I'd rather do weeknights yeah, than weekends. Yeah, I know, but I have you for weeknights and weekends. It's an aggressive deployment. You can sleep when it's over. Take all the comp time you want. Just like last time. Yeah, because last time, uh, let's see, I had a whole Monday okay. after two 60-hour weeks that you Haven't scheduled. Haven't you heard? No, heard what? Well, after we're done, they're going to evaluate us, and, you know, if... <laughs> what, if what already? They might not renew our option year. We all might be out of jobs. Well, we all have the same contract. How do you think I feel with the new condo? <laughs> so, I just need you to work one weekend. I'll make it worth your while. No, I, no yeah, yeah, we said we keep it professional here. Great. Please. Sorry. Okay. So, just fix this thing. Yeah, I Make you both it. be on our merry way, okay? Yeah, I just... Let me just get this back in. Hey, Danny boy, is that the new Nokia model? Nope. Because you know, Rob and I, we get dibs on all new equipment. Why? Because we're FTE, baby. So, Dan. Where are the new tablets? I don't provision devices. Randy does. Well, Randy's not fucking here right now, is he? You didn't see Randy, did you? The bastard's always late. He'll be here. Comes in at lunch, and then he takes his lunch. Yeah, fucker. Like you said, F-T-E. Hey. Hey. This 
guy here yet? No, I've checked a couple of times this morning. The slacker. I know, right? What's your name? Lana. Yeah, I can read. Are you new here? Yeah, I'm here to pick up my laptop. All right, bet your laptop's not ready yet. It better be. I want to get to work right away. Definitely new here. Yeah, well, it looks like I'm gonna have longer than lunch to slack off, right? What the fuck are you talking about? A contract. They'll renew you guys. It'll be too disruptive. You're essential. Yeah, mm, don't know about that. What are people gonna do when they can't log in and get to facial book and dinner? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, speaking of essential. God, I gotta listen to that guy spoil Game of Thrones three times a day every freaking day. You really gotta see this series. It's on HBO. It's called Game of Thrones. Awesome. There's this little dwarf character. He's like the hero of the show. But there's a really great character, and she's like this white hair. Victim number two. Gabe! What? Oh. Mm. Where are my TPS reports? Hey, Jake. Jake, he's. Guess what? Jake is looking for you. Who isn't, man? Okay, well, just go ahead and make yourself comfortable. It's not like you're late for work or anything. What are you talking about? I've been working. I have all my calls forwarded over to my cell. Yeah, I called your cell this morning. You didn't pick up. Yeah, I said I had them forwarded. I didn't say I actually answered them. What's with the shirt? What are you talking about? It's fuchsia. It's like a fashion, it's a fashion statement. Did it come with a purse? What are you so out of tune about? That's right. It's your day off, I forgot. You got dicked, man. What's Richard's excuse this time? You wanna know what he said to me? Uh, actually, no. Hold that thought. I gotta take this call. I'm sure it's very important. How? How? Yes, it's a traditional Native American greeting. Yes, I'm in America. Yes, but they outsource the IT to the Indians. Mm-hmm. Okay, you say email not working. You send message via US Postal Service. Namaste. God, it's amazing the shit you FTEs get away with. <laughs> okay, can you please leave me alone? I'm trying to figure out what the heck happened here. Why, what's going on, buddy? Well, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck happened to MDM. Someone jacked it up last night. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? No, it's nothing. Okay, first you tell me what's going on, and then I'll tell you what I did. Okay, well, I'll tell you that they were lined up outside the door like an Apple store, trying to figure out what was wrong with their phones. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, uh, what happened was, uh, I was wiping. Oh, it was, my no, 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 it was just one phone. Randy. It was supposed to be one phone. Uh, I think I might have accidentally selected an entire container. Uh, oh, you think? Maybe it was an entire container that we're looking at right now? Come on, man. You know, like, the database thing confuses me. We need a good database administrator. Do you know oh, Okay. Can, 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 can you quit deflecting? I'm not deflecting. It was the fucking database. You know, I am so sick and tired of cleaning up after your shit. Yeah, but you're so good at it. Yeah, this is your fucking God damn it, Rick. Shalom. Nice blouse. I have one just like you. This is not a blouse. This is a man's shirt. It's I hear you can read other people's email. Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. You! Oh yeah, I told you your laptop's not ready yet. Well, I can't do anything without it. You can hang out with me while I work on it. I, I got things to do. Yeah, but you just said you can't do any of them without your laptop. Pop a squat. A chair's got your name on it. Okay, so, um, so he's influencing everyone to pick his friend, as you say, and then he gives, he gives, uh, a friend the contract, which is a, uh, conflict of interest. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. 
Got it. Can you check real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, we have some forms that we need to fill out. Uh, corporate security. Have they need to involve them. All of the forms that you need. I just need to confirm it first. Okay. Um. Right. But it, um. If it's not confirmed, then uh, we just violated um, uh, several policies that corporate security has in place. I've actually they require me to read. Dan. This. Right. Yeah. Dan, Dan, Dan. You're on the Delta contract, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, what's that? Uh, I don't know what that look is for. Look at how they treat your team. And you guys don't even have medical. Your BFF Randy, he used to be a contractor. I made his position a T. I'm sorry, are you suggesting? Yes, I'm suggesting you being a made man. Well, do you guys have an opening? Well, if my boss is in the wrong, then we might. Look. No more ops. No more long hours. No more on call. And you and me. Long term. Are you familiar with the expression tit for tat? That, uh, that some dudes still don't know about private browsing? Believe it or not, this is like the best part of my day. People surfing and downloading habits really say a lot about who they are as people, you know? Like, can you say Asian fetish? Nobody's gonna accuse this guy of being anti-slanti. Isn't that a little inappropriate? Yeah, it's totally inappropriate. Inspiration for masturbation should never come from the color of someone's skin. No, I don't think you understand. Oh, jackpot. Oh, my God. This guy's such a fucking perv. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I'll tell you that. Saigonsphincters.com. Tasty taints. Crouching tiger hidden tea bag. I spot a brown eye. Stickyrice.tv. ChineseFingeringTrap.com. Genghis cock. Come plow chicken. Bangkok banging cocks, tokyodrip.com, coxzilla, majesticsluts.net, exclusive camel toes, jizz guzzler. This guy searched Craigslist for meat curtains in the for sale section. Should probably wash this laptop and wipe it down. I touched this. Yo, Jack Ryan. Kathy did some paperwork for you. Hmm. No shit. You know, you have to take a poly for the security cleanse. <laughs> a poly? So anyways, uh, an, an investigator will be in contact with you shortly. Okay, hey, thank, thanks guys. Your um, drug test? Yeah, or you took care of it. Why? I mean, like, why? Like, why? Like, what happened? Like, how'd it go? Honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But it's only once a year, so. You got something to worry about? Nah, man. Then suck it up, big man. I like it when you call me big fan. You're welcome. Oh, you chip. Oh. This fucking guy. Who reads the newspaper at work? 
mean, who reads the newspaper at all, actually? Hey, why don't you uh, go back to your fucking desk and look at CNN.com? It's less blatant, asshole. I'm on my break. What's your rate? Five dollars a minute? So the taxpayers of this great nation have just spent fifty dollars for you to sit here and read the fucking sports section? Nah, fuck that guy. Hey, uh, I heard you might be moving on up, buddy. What? No, um, I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. I don't know, Jake said that they were already scheduling your poly, man. What? Well, no, Kat, Kathy just said that she could no, help Kathy, me. No, Kathy, that bitch. She's not a bitch. She's manipulative. Don't trust her promises. I could have worked for her too, but I didn't want to kiss her ass, so. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Your mouth, her ass, my love of filmmaking. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 we could call it uh, uh, gap analysis or uh, market penetration. Shut the fuck up. Look, it's Probably safer from me up there anyway. Yeah, exactly. You just run for the life vest and leave the rest of us to drown in the water. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Safer life vest? What the fuck are you talking about? They might not renew our contract. You guys are essential, okay? They touch you, their technical support will get hit so bad, I promise you, they'll never complain again. Well, I guess then they'd just be left with your 15 minutes of work that you put in in between your two-hour lunch break and your suspiciously long bathroom break. Sarah, that was his good fella's impression. I tell you the truth if I thought you could handle it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, go on, tell me the truth. We live in a world with firewalls, and those firewalls need to be guarded. Who's gonna do it? You? You, Timothy Weinberg? Weinberg? Let it go, Timmy, he's on a roll. I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That my work hours and social habits, while unconventional and somewhat offensive, probably saved lives. That my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth, because deep down in a place that you don't talk about at parties, you want me on that call. You need me on that call. We use words like user error and reboot and please try that again. We use these words as a backbone to a life spent helping morons. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a user that rises and sleeps under the blanket of the service that I provide and then questions the means by which I provide it. Rather you just said thank you and went on your way. He does a great Rachel McAdams. Hey, you here for your drug test? Come on in. understand why the tests need to be administered this way. Why? Are you nervous? Well, I'm not comfortable if that's what you mean. You're being overly dramatic. Think of me as a passive participant to something you probably do daily. Uh, I guess, metaphorically speaking, the government's been doing this to me for years. Ironically, I always thought drugs would be a prerequisite for this sort of thing. Whoa, whoa, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> when you pointed to your crotch, I thought you meant urine. <laughs> it's not that funny, okay? I'm traumatized. I may never be able to go to the bathroom in this building again. Good. The test was annual. Annual. Typo. Yeah, I see that, Sherlock. Thank Just you. Get over it. It's over now. Forget it. This really upsets me, man. Yeah, you're so sensitive. You know what the worst part is? What? How quickly I submitted to another man's request to insert something into my anus. No, okay, technically he never made that request. You, you just ran with it on your own. 
Oh my god. Do I have latent homosexual tendency? I think I might be gay. Okay, you're not gay. You don't know I'm not gay. You don't know that about me. You just said it yourself, I'm too sensitive. What's gayer than being too sensitive? I'll tell you what. Flash in your cornhole at the first mocha skin guy you see in the bathroom. That's what. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty gay. That shirt didn't help. <laughs> Why can't I just use my phone? So which one's better than the other? I heard this one's better. Mm hmm How about this one? Yeah, sure. Aren't you tech support? I don't know what I am anymore. Well, how about you support me in this decision? I just did. You said both were better than the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one's got a smaller screen, so it sucks for games and porn, and that one's more secure, so you won't really get any good games and porn. Well, that was helpful. Oh, I haven't had one of these in ages. I hate you, she beats this morning. Yeah, well, I mean, obese have such a skewed perception of time and space when it comes to food. Yeah, no, I believe that the acceptable wait time between meals is inversely proportional to someone's waistline. I mean, you take her, for example. Back in the day, I'm sure she had a 32-inch waistline, at which point a four to six hour window perfectly acceptable between meals. And now? Now, having achieved Optimus Primes' waistline, I give her two hours, three tops before she resorts to cannibalism. See that look she gave us? Yeah, I mean, and people do that to smokers, you know? Bullshit. Bitch is on a suicidal, gluttonous path with every single double cheeseburger she inhales, and no one fucking flinches. We light up, and everyone looks like we just clubbed the last goddamn seal on Earth. It's not fair. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, here we go. Uh, no. Hey, guys. Nope. Go away. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Go away. Out of here! I was just wondering. Hey, hey, you know when we're out here on break, right, Carter? No. See ya. Do I have to deal with? Yeah, just as many idiots. I don't think so, man. I don't think you do. Yeah. I think I do with more idiots. You're like enough for like 50 idiots. There's too many idiots in the world. My buddy. Hey man, hey, I was wondering, what do I do to my firewall at home to uh, minimize the latency in World of Warcraft? Hey Randy? Randy! As you can see, our numbers are not bad, but we can do better. We're not slacking on our SLAs, which is a good thing, but there's always room for improvement. If there aren't any more questions. Yes, Bob. I was wondering if you could go over the metrics for performance in Q2. Uh, yes, thank you for reminding me. So let's talk a bit about how we got there, where we are. I set up Twitter to sync with my Facebook. That way when I tweet, it goes automatically to Facebook, but there's latency. It takes at least five minutes to show up. Is that our network? Is there anything you can do about that? Nice shirt. The website just seems slow. I don't know, it's, it's slower than yesterday. Anyone on the call have any ideas, guys? Okay, uh, what are you clicking on? I, I don't know, it's, it's just... What are you doing on the website? Give me something. I don't know. It, it's just slow. The, the whole thing is slow. Okay, it's slow to, slow to load the home page? No, home page is fine. I'm looking at it now. How do you know that it's slow? 
done. I don't know. I'm telling you, everything is locked up. Nothing's happening. Timmy. 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 Listen to me. It's not a touchscreen, buddy. Use the mouse. I clicked on something, and it took me to a porn site. It was an accident. I don't want to get in any trouble. Is it true that you can see the pictures on my phone? So I'm at the computer minding my own business, and the weirdest thing happened again. Porn site. Is it true that you can read my email? Is it true you can access my webcam without me knowing? The weirdest thing just happened again. Richard, 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 I got your fucking text message, you son of a bitch. You fucking son of a bitch. I know you didn't go anywhere. You missed a fucking flight? Huh? How do you even know I got your text? You can't just send a text and think that you're in the fucking clear. How do you know I got it, huh? Aside from the fact that I fucking mentioned that I got it, how do you fucking know that I got it? You fuck, you don't fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Thanks, Richard, you dick. You know, you just can't slam phones down the same way anymore. First you have to like hit the button to turn it off and then and slam it down, I guess, but then you're like, hey, ah, uh, shit, did I crack my screen? Hey man, why don't you just go home? I could. Ah, you're full of shit. We both know you're a Boy Scout. Yeah. And what would you know about responsibility? I know that no one here has any. I can't make any wrong moves with this contact situation, man. This fucking sucks. I should be home right now. Playing Madden or jerking off? Probably Madden. But I'd probably rub one out during halftime. And just like that, time for lunch. I'm thinking Chinese. Chinese again. Third time this week. You got here like an hour ago, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe exposing my butthole to a strange dude in the restroom has increased my appetite. Do you want to eat or do you want to analyze my timesheet? Come on. Come on. See Kathy's ass today? Yeah, I make it a point to see that ass every day. It's part of my daily routine. I bet her dingleberries taste like Skittles. I don't know if I'd go that far. I'd probably go that far. I was thinking about something. Yeah, let me have it, man. You know how in Monopoly, they've got that get out of jail free card? Yeah. Imagine, if you will, if you were suddenly issued a get into VJJ free card. It's the Vajaja voucher. A VJJ voucher, if you will. You mean like a gift certificate for sex? Mm, not exactly. Okay, now here, imagine this. You have a one-time voucher that would obligate the woman of your choosing to have sex with you. And she has to accommodate your request. So what do you think? I find your erotic and somewhat disturbing fantasy oddly intriguing. What about her marital status? Irrelevant. Age? Usual restrictions. Friends, coworkers, second cousins? Yes, yes. Gross, but yes. Domestic only or internationally accepted? Hmm, domestic only. Some conservative regions of the world place too strict a penalty when it comes to sex, and others just see it as a way of life. Right, because that would make this unrealistic. Even hypothetical sexual scenarios need restrictions. It's the boundaries that make them more tangible. It has to be a catch. So what's the catch? Well, you only get one. So you gotta bust that nut wisely. 
Any special considerations made if she's menstruating? What about if she's a hermaphrodite? I think the presence of a dick should nullify the transaction. No do-overs. It's brutal. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Did you just smile at me? I think it was more like one of those I'm glad you're all the way over there kind of looks. Hey, your rape card would come in handy here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about rape? God, this place is always packed. I don't get it. It's just coffee. You know, crack dealers don't get this kind of loyalty. Well, it was just coffee 15 years ago. Now it's headquarters for the environmentally conscious, left-leaning European car-driving douchebags who think they have sophisticated taste because they overpaid for a bunch of ground-up coffee beans that were hand-picked in inhumane conditions by underprivileged children whose life expectancy is comparable to the warranty of an iPad. Which, coincidentally, is manufactured on another continent by underprivileged children or even less humane conditions. So, what does that make them? Well, I told you, douchebags. So we're douchebags. Oh no, we have to work our way up to that. I'd say in the uh, coffeehouse social class structure, we fall somewhere between local grad students who for some reason find the distractions of a packed coffee house to be the ideal study setting and dirty gophers over there hiding behind their laptops. I don't know what a dirty gopher is. Oh yeah, a, um, a dirty gopher is a man who seeks out a strategic seating arrangement in close proximity to an attractive woman with the hopes that said attractive woman will inadvertently give him a glimpse of her panties. Which, by the way, pales in comparison to the images these idiots can be looking at on those rectangular shaped things in front of them currently serving as pathetic camouflage. Right. I don't know about that. Okay, so I think you're looking at guys who are just kind of minding their own business. No, no, wait for it. See? Just like gophers. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, this game of peekaboo became an instinctual part of our gender shortly after Eve started wearing a fig leaf. Yeah, before that whole apple biting incident, we were sort of indifferent to the womanly parts, but now, even centuries later, we start as little boys in middle school accidentally dropping our pencils. And eventually, many of us carry this time honored tradition on well into adulthood. Here comes round two. guys can help us out with our database issues. That's wrong. What? I was hoping maybe you could help me with a technology-related issue. What makes you think we can help with that? <laughs> what makes me think? How about 400-plus uh, hours of tech support calls to the entire cast of Slumdog Millionaire? Is there something we can help you with? Yeah. Need a database administrator. You guys in? So we're to your technology needs what Mexicans are to your landscaping. Should we hop in the back of your pickup truck? Don't be ridiculous, man. Just catch a lift with one of your cab driver buddies. Hey, what the fuck is that, man? Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on, I didn't say anything wrong. Oh, Kathy, I really need you to sign those papers. Ass. I've sent you like 10 emails today. Oh, well, <laughs> you can just bring them on by my office. Okay, or you can stop by. Okay. Earrings are so adorable. Where'd oh, you get them? Thanks. I got them online from one of those like charity websites. All the yeah. proceeds go to help save the pandas. Oh. Who doesn't like pandas, right? Cute. <laughs> It is, so, the papers, mm -hmm. really important, just drop by before two today, okay. and we'll get it all done, just so bring them on over here. to my office. Or also that. Okay, well, I'm all gonna right. go. Okay, great. let's do okay. lunch sometime, right? Okay, okay. forever, we need to yeah, catch up for sure. all of your life. Fuck okay. okay, okay. I'll, I'll bye. What a bitch. This would be the ugliest effing earrings I've ever seen. 
that was really embarrassing, okay? I don't need you to pull me out of every social situation. Me. I am amazed that you've gotten this far in life without being curb stomped. You know, you just, you don't understand me. You're supposed to be my friend. I thought we were cool. You're treating me like I'm short round. Well, what do you want from me? Call it how I see it, man. Okay, this is, this is what, does anything actually phase you? Uh... I'm serious, like, to pull the kind of shit that you do, and I've not gotten your ass beat, you're either a complete genius, or the most blessed fucking idiot with absolutely no fear. Uh, what are you afraid of? I am six foot five, 235 pounds, and there's two of me. No, I'm serious, like, what are you, what, what are you actually afraid of in life? Um... I don't know. I'm afraid of black women and gay men. Seriously, dude. Oh, yeah. You ever seen a black woman get angry? It's crazy. And gay men, when they get angry, they just turn into black women. God, it just doesn't fucking stop with you. <sighs> Look, man. You drive. I don't feel like it. Seriously? It's crazy to me that things like that still happen. It's crazy. It's not even actually crazy. It's pretty shocking to me. It, it, it's like it's so much more than just shocking. Yeah. Hey, anybody know databases? Hop in the back is good pay. <laughs> nice blouse, asshole. Daniel? Dan. Okay, Dan. I'm here for your poly. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, I was warned about told about you guys, yeah. Just to be clear, this is a lifestyle poly, which means some questions may seem evasive, but I assure you they serve a purpose. So let's start with baseline. State your full name. Uh, Daniel Schumacher. Date of birth. Uh, September 7th, 1987. What is your job title? I am a systems admin. Have you ever engaged in any unlawful or unethical activities in your place of work? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, what, what, what was the beep for? D it's okay. Does that mean does that mean I'm lying? No, everyone gets dinged on that question. But we'll come back to ethics later. Are you now, or have you ever been affiliated with any groups or organizations that have ill will towards the United States government? No. Do you now, or have you ever engaged in any homosexual activities? Uh, I saw Magic Mike in 3D. I don't think that makes me gay. Oh, okay. Do you now, or have you ever had thoughts or fantasies involving rape or violence? No. Okay, no. Okay, not, no, not intentionally. I don't understand. You, you know how in Monopoly they've got, you know, they've got this get out of jail free card. So, you know, I just thought it would be funny if there was like this, you know, get into the JJ free card. You know? A what? I'm sorry. I mean, is there is there any way that we can just kind of come back to the um, rape thing another time? Okay. Have you ever engaged in any sexual or lewd acts in the office? No. Maybe a little bit. Explain. I did with my project manager a few times. That's it. Fucker. Uh, and I masturbated in the enterprise office. I masturbated right in that chair and in Kathy's office and the fourth floor conference rooms. And I tried the server room, but it's a little too cold. Do you realize how creepy you are? Oh, hi, uh, hi. You're yeah, you're with Kathy's team, so, I mean, you guys must know each other. Can you come to the data center? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, w would you like me to come? Because I, I, I do the systems, I'm... No need. I'll tell you what. We'll give you a call if there's a semen shortage on any of the servers. Okay. 
Who's that? Oh, it's Amanda from marketing. I don't want to Amanda your Facebook buddy. Who said anything about Facebook? Where'd you get those pictures from? Uh. <laughs> Do I want to know? What? Why? Holy shit. It's good to be the admin. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I have I have admin privileges on everyone's work computer, right? So but they should only keep work stuff on there. Just because you have a folder called My Pictures doesn't mean you should load it up with your very, very private vacation photos. Okay, close that now. Why? That's wrong. Says the guy who wants a rape voucher. Hey, can you stop calling it that? Look, just because you got because you can access people's files without them knowing doesn't mean that you can snoop around like that. I mean, you should be using using admin privileges for troubleshooting workstations. I'm troubleshooting. She submitted a ticket that her computer's running slow. Maybe it's running slow because she's running out of disk space. Maybe she's running out of space because she doesn't realize the file size of her enormous titties and raw. Yeah. Just be professional. That's all I'm saying. Professional's a lost art in this consumer-driven world. I don't even know what that means. It means everything's so fucking casual these days. Business casual. BYOD. Um, I want my iPhone to connect to my work, and I want my Nexus to connect to my, uh, corporate resources. Like, that's so fucking secure. The line between work and play is, like, so blurry when it comes to technology. No doubt these fuckers can be super productive when they're checking social media every 15 minutes. So excuse me. Excuse me, Captain America. These fuckers are too stupid to realize that every time they sync their phone to their desktop, it also copies over their sexting pics. Check this out. Look at her. She's so beautiful. What is that? Oh, that's a webcam. Oh, that's live? Right mm -hmm. now? Yeah, yeah, all I did was just okay. like that. Okay. I don't want to hear how you do it. All right, what if I printed out a peeping Tom voucher? Oh shit, Fredo, what's up? My daughter's in trouble. What? She's stuck in Nigeria. Have you tried calling your daughter? No. There you go. Betty, honey. Dad? Are you okay? What? Where are you? At work. When did you get a job in Nigeria? Jesus, really? I got your email. What email? Dad, are you okay? Hey, Betty, yeah, your dad's fine, okay? He just sent some money to a stranger for a plane ticket to escape Blood Diamond Runners. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up his computer, and he's gonna call Amex, but everything's cool, okay? Okay. Uh, say bye, Freddy. Bye, Freddy. I'm pretty sure we each get our own. No way, man. They're just gonna give us a huge one. We're gonna have to share it. Well, here he is. Let's just ask him. Uh, can I help you guys? Maybe you can help us settle something. How many clouds are we buying? You know, the clouds. How many are we purchasing? And please tell me we each get our own. Cloud. Uh, bless your heart. Uh, okay, with cloud services, I don't know if you guys know exactly. Oh, hold on, time out. Where is it physically right now? I mean, is it where I think it is? It's not in the clouds. Well, not anymore, right? Thanks a lot, Al Qaeda. Uh, okay. Cloud. Well, do you think I could see one? Because I think I'd really like to see one. Me too. Um, I would really like an orange one as well. Definitely an orange one. Yeah, I like where his head's at because I don't want to confuse mine with his. So I was going to go with something like metallic blue, you know, a little bit more subtle, nothing over the top. Yeah, all right, so uh, metallic blue, orange, cool. Just make sure you don't pour water on them because they will multiply. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I don't know what any of this is about. Uh, is that why you guys came to my office? Oh, not at all. We're actually here to ask you about your SOPs as they pertain to the Privacy Act of 1974. 
And also, have you have you been the admin on duty all day today? Uh, yeah. Hey, Kathy. Knock, knock. Why are you out of breath? I, well, I'm actually not that out of breath, huh? You should cut back on the smokes. I should cut out the smoking. Um, a quick question. Uh, who was that in my office? Corpsec. Corporate security. Uh, what for? Uh, for your screening, for your position. Well, I thought all I needed was, uh, the poly? What poly? My poly interview. You don't need a poly for this. Then who was Carla? Um, I, I don't know what you're talking about. God, this little fuckers. Excuse me? You know, I am so sorry for coming into your room and just being all... Did you find that email? Oh, yeah, uh, about that. About that. I started looking. I really don't know. You don't know. I, well, I don't, I don't know dates. And dates. I don't... Yeah, I need dates. 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 Uh, date? Okay, would you like me to take you on a date? What? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, uh, okay. You... <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just miscommunicating with, with, I get sorry. <laughs> Go team. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm just uh, watching a tutorial on how to in install something I want to install later. Wait. Yeah, the guy's about to insert his disc. I'm sure he is. Hi, Kathy. Oh, hey, Raj. Um, did you ever figure out that guy's email thing? I mean, I tried everything, man. It's definitely not his client. Yeah, it was a bad load balancer. God, you're amazing. I'll come back later. That boy's wicked smart. Uh, Casey Affleck, never mind. Uh, but he actually is super smart. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he went to IIT. Don't you mean ITT? No, no, no. Indian Institutes of Technology is like harder to get into than MIT. Isn't that in India? Yeah, did you, did you see Raj? Does he look like Sitting Bull? Anyway, that's the kind of guy I'd want on my team. Can I have my coffee now? Oh yeah, sure, I don't want any coffee, go ahead. Looking at some tickets. Tickets. Hmm. I saw that alt tab. Hey, uh, I may have been looking a little you porn. Bullshit. You never hide porn. Okay! It's researching latent homosexual tendencies. Oh my god, you are unbelievable. See, I knew you wouldn't understand, okay? My people have been through decades of persecution, okay? Could use a little bit more support on this. Your people? Yeah. Every few months you conjure up some baseless, life-altering emergency. You notice that? Hmm? Last January? 
when you thought you had testicular cancer? You had the whole office taking up collections on your anticipated medical expenses? You couldn't stop going on about how you're gonna be Randy Wenball? I felt a bump. Yeah, that was a pimple. Yeah, thanks for checking that out for me. Yeah, that really was an eye on my bucket list. Sorry. You confused caffeine-induced jitters with Parkinson's. I had the shakes. Yeah, well, five cups of coffee is going to do that to you, buddy. Remember that soup-only diet? You had nothing but alphabet soup for three weeks? You have a bad habit of not flushing the toilet. I went into the stall one time. I swear to God, it looked like you gave birth to a Charles Dickens novel. Those were the worst of times. You make them the worst of times. And now, because of one misunderstanding in the men's room, you are preparing for a life of bone munching. Here's a dose of reality. You are not gay. You are far from being gay. Because every homosexual man that I know has cultural awareness, social grace, is in shape. You couldn't entice Andy Dick on Viagra with that battleship you call an ass. For better or for worse, you're just a heterosexual middle-class man with a serious case of homophobia. So mean. I'm sorry. That was rough. It's, can, can we move past this now? Can, can we talk about my problems? I'd love to talk about your problems. Your problems are awesome. Favorite part of my day. <sighs> well, I, I think I may have, may have, Screwed up my security screening. Your poly? That was a fake poly. Wouldn't get your hopes up about that job, buddy. What do you mean? Oh, rumor has it that Kathy's pushing HR to make an offer to Raj. Roger Smith. I don't know, Raj. Short for Rajar Bababananu. Rajar Yeah, whatever. Yeah, quick question. Uh, why did you give Raj the job instead of me when I have been here just as long? It's like having one of those smart outsource people local. Really? Mm. Plus, your poly wasn't great either. <laughs> okay, uh, the fake poly. Yes, but your answers were still suspect. CorpSec talked to Carla and their audits corroborated. What audits? Well, that you access other people's information without proper protocol. No, what information? Like other people's inboxes. Damn, you told me to do that. It's part of your screening for the position. Bullshit. Careful. I don't fucking believe this. What do you know about our contract? They may renew it. Oh, they may renew it? Maybe. Is that better? All right, all this is bullshit. You know, we could argue this all the way up the food chain. Or you might want to chalk this up to try again next time. But if you burn a bridge, there definitely won't be a contract. We take it to the top. It's your word against mine. Do you really want to battle? Besides, you like me. You gawk at my ass. Yeah. I just didn't think it actually shit on me. Cheer up. I'll make it up to you one of these days. You know what, no. No. No, you, you make it up to me today. Okay, um, how about a juicy steak from Morton's, and uh -huh. a mocha yeah. frappuccino from Starbucks, did you like those? Yeah. And a friendly hug that lasts up to but not beyond 10 seconds. Okay, how about we skip all of that bullshit and you literally provide me with your part of the tit for tat agreement? <laughs> you little perv. Are you serious? You bet your balls. For how long? I don't know, mere seconds. 
I mean, my phone's in my pocket, so no sneaky pics. I think I'd rather keep my dignity and just sit with you at Starbucks. Oh, uh, sit with me at Starbucks, okay. Well, you'd be surprised at how much of your dignity you can lose by just sitting at Starbucks. You can think about this as my parting severance pay. This fulfills my obligation. Fine. Then you can stay seated. I can see right from here. Son of a bitch, man. You were too quick. You didn't get it? Psych. I remoted in her cam way before you were even in her office. Oh my god, you majestic pink wookie. Woo! Whoa. Oh, look at your faces. You guys need to stop watching so much porn at work. Oh, we've never looked at porn at work. Oh, uh, god, man. Well, anyway, I just came to tell you, Dan, that I managed to get most of your work on the project reassigned. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah. Quick word about that. Um, I didn't get the job. So. Oh. Anyways. Well, I still reassign most of your work. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so what do you want me to do? I don't know. I could give you some work on my next project, maybe. Okay. Um. If, but if I'm not working now, maybe you shouldn't have tried to find another job. What the fuck? That's not fair. <laughs> Oh, really? This is going from the man who invented the rape card. Oh, no, no, excuse me, the VJJ voucher. Get into VJJ voucher. You really want to talk about what's fair? Yeah, Dan, I heard about your stupid little fantasy. Okay, it's not rape. It's merely a voucher that would legally, it's legally <laughs> <What>? obligate the <laughs> woman. You sound like a congressman. Uh, to be fair, it's, it's just one rape. You only get one rape. <laughs> oh, great. It's, it's, it's not rape. It's, great. it's just one rape. It's not rape. And who is going to be the lucky recipient of your voucher? Oh, no, no, let me guess. <gasps> Kathy. Uh, yeah, that manipulative bitch wouldn't let you within 20 miles of her nether regions. Her northern hills aren't so restrictive. Okay, who said anything about Kathy? And how would you feel anyway if it was reversed? Like, what if I had a get dick card or something, and all I had to do is show it to some guy, and then he's obligated to do me? Yeah, that's huh. a great idea. Yeah, that would is. totally work, the get idea. dick card. Yeah, no, you don't need one of those. You have boobs, so it's all good. It's I'm good. sorry, oh, hold on. What does any of this have to do with me trying to improve my job status? <laughs> Maybe I did what I did because nobody else in this office is looking out for my career. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? It means that you like to keep me like a prisoner in isolation. <laughs> you know that I do good work. But you don't want me to branch out for fear that someone's just gonna poach on your precious resource. If you want to see other people, you could just say it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. That's what this morning was all about. Seeing what's on the other side. And now you just expect us all to welcome you back with open arms? Dude, you've been looking at Facebook for like 20 minutes. Facebook. All you're doing is looking at pictures of Vera. Why don't you just go talk to her? What's wrong? Nothing. No, I'm happy, really. I'm about to have all day to do what I want. That again? Dude, they're gonna renew your contract, okay? But if you hate it here so much, why don't you just quit? Uh, cause I'd have to go find another job. So? You're a techie. The market's good. I think I proved today that I don't interview well. Look man, it's not a Miss America Q&A, okay? They're gonna ask you if you know how to configure a cloud, then they're gonna stick you in a room with a bunch of douchebags that look just like you. Look, I thought you stayed here because you were comfortable, a lifer. But today, I saw you go for something. There's hope for you. 
Doesn't matter. Vera's gonna make my life a living hell if I stay on this floor. Just go talk to her, man. She doesn't care about you and your job. She cares about you and Kathy. There is no me and Kathy. There sure as shit isn't anymore, but you know you were going for it. You stay with Vera because she's a nice, reliable Toyota, okay? You wanted to go for a spin in the Mercedes. If you're settling for Vera, then you need to let her go. It's not fair to treat her like that. Yo. Wanna grab nine holes and some brews? What? You know, two time at four, happy hour at six. Yeah, because I'm not FTE, I can't leave early. Yeah. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. You're mad at us, but you gotta admit that fake Polly thing was funny as shit. You know, Carla and I, we go way back. She had fun. Pee Wee Herman ain't got nothing on you, huh? You know, enough. Enough, guys. I mean, you guys had your fun. Oh, come on, man. No hard feelings. You know, this is bullying. I could report you guys to HR. HR, HR, HR. Uh, remind me. Is, uh, HR one of the parts of the buildings where you yanked your meat? You know what? Because you have a little prank, no project manager in their right mind is going to put me on their team now. Uh, see, I, I didn't realize you were playing for the Dolphins. You gonna go talk to your coach about it? Yeah, I might. I'm sure she'll take great care of you. Okay, I actually have no idea what you're talking about. Your, your coach. Who? Vera. What are you guys talking about? She's your supervisor? No, she is not. <sighs> Look, you wanted to work for Kathy. I get it, she's got great tits. But would you trust her? Exactly. Vera, she's got nothing but good things to say about you. I've seen her defend your ass when you're not even around. She really cares about you, man. That's rare. Besides, you must be doing something to get that kind of treatment. Uh-huh, you know what I'm saying? I know you wanted to be FTE like us, but really, it's all of the bullshit with even more bureaucracy. We've even got our own Gabe. Hey, did you see the Game of Thrones episode last night? Yeah, I don't really watch that show with all the houses and shit. Here, I'll break it down. So you can get it. We'll start with the Mother of Dragons. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, we just heard that they'll renew you guys. You keep the lights on for us. But you want me on your wall. You need me on that wall. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather you just say thank you. No. Don't you go thinking that we're peers now or nothing, okay? What? We get to go golfing now. <laughs> yeah, and you guys just invited me. Oh, oh no! Wow, it's not with by the it's not even five o'clock yet. Oh damn. Sucks for you. What was I thinking? Well, later, Techie. But hang in there and something will open up soon. Yeah, yeah, I can maybe one day I'll be just as lucky as Randy. That Randy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Randy has loose lips. Heard he told Vera about your little meeting with Kathy and did Raj the solid by recommending him. Yo, man, let's go. Get some food. Be so hungry. That is an unnecessarily menacing look. 
Why did you tell Vera about my job interview with Kathy? I didn't do that. Please don't do that again. Why did you tell Kathy to hire Raj instead of me? No, that's not what happened. That's not how it happened at all. Why, Randy? It's just because I didn't want you to move up to Kathy's floor, man. I wouldn't be able to hang out as much and stuff. You son of a bitch. Oh, fuck! Are you fucking such a Cambridge? But I can't touch you anything! Breath spray, man. It's just pyramid. Ow. Be sugar free. You'll be okay. God. I don't understand, man. Yeah, smoke cigarettes, man. You gotta keep it fresh, you know. No, I don't understand what the hell got into you. I'm doing you a favor, man. A favor. Yeah. I don't want you to be stuck. What if I want that? You don't. Why are you okay with being stuck? I guess you just kind of accept it eventually. I'm a generic person in an error message. File not found. Contact your systems administrator. You're pretty good at it. Remember that time we told him it would take us two days to migrate those accounts? We wrote a script in two hours. <laughs> Played World of Warcraft for the rest of the 46. <laughs> we're good at our jobs, man. Yeah, we're good at avoiding hard work. Exactly. So maybe you don't hate your job so much? It's just... It's just lacking. It's lacking is your social life, man. Why didn't you go golfing with Jake and Rob? I don't know how to play golf. Who <laughs> gives a shit? See, you missed the point, man. It's not about doing what, what comes easy all the time. Doing what you're comfortable doing. It's about trying new things. It's about getting out there. It's about doing what makes you uncomfortable. It's like having a girlfriend, man. You do a whole bunch of shit you don't want to do. But you do it for her. I'm sorry I hit you with the nuts. It's okay, buddy. I'll get you back. Do weekends. What? Well, you need somebody to do weekends, right? Yeah, but. So I'll do them. You know, for the team. Okay, fine. So you want dinner? 
Just dinner? <laughs> I think you owe me so much more than just dinner. Ah, uh, okay. So, what did you have in mind? Well, I do have a few vouchers of my own. Oh, really? Yeah, I think we'll get started with a go fuck yourself voucher. Okay. Followed by a carry my purse around the mall voucher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I deserve that yeah. one. <laughs> so what do you want? It's my treat. Sushi. Okay. <laughs> well, we hit the pharmacy, see what they have for high mercury levels of salmonella. I also have an entire bag that's full of no sarcasm vouchers. Okay. But I think we really do need to hit the pharmacy. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I think the insides of my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> okay, then we should probably do that first. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, did you hear? What? They renewed our contract. <laughs> yeah. We're essentially moron. Yeah, I know. No, you didn't. No, I had no idea. Oh, you're such a dumbass. Yeah. <gasps> but I'm essential. <laughs> Whatever. It just means you have to come in and make sure everyone's shit's working. Hey guys, what's up, buddy? Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. I'm, I'm about to head over to HR. I got some great news. I just won the Jamaican lottery. Seven million bucks and a new Mercedes Benz. weird because first they say it's a prize and then they say it's an inheritance, so it's a little strange, but seven million bucks, yeah. man. I'm sure it's just a Jamaican typo. Just wanted to thank you guys for everything before I tell HR to kiss my black ass. <laughs> Does the email perhaps ask for any personal information? It did. I gave them my uh, information and sent a check. Yeah, yeah, I think this one's legit because it's yeah. on my iPhone. You can read it. Mm. See, it's, uh... Yeah. They... They spelled Mercedes wrong. Uh, why don't you wait till the check comes before you quit your job? What do you think? Should I? Wait? Or... Yeah, just wait. We'll keep it a surprise. Yeah, we won't tell anyone. We'll throw you a big going away party and everything. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. No, 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 leave that here. Thanks. Great. Yeah. yeah. yeah.